um, this is a stage concept for like festival in VR and specifically for the virtual burn this year <laughs> and um, inspired by all my wild and crazy trips out to Black Rock City and all the freaking freaking epic uh, DJ stages I've seen built out there and it was just always felt like these designers and production crews were really pressing, pushing the parameters and coming up with the, just the f coolest <laughs> ideas. So some of you know that I'm slightly obsessed with um, VR recently. And um, on top of DJing, I have a, like a real intense drive to create visual art. Um, I've studied... Uh, sculpture and um, design for just over the years. Um, before I got into um, music production, I actually was more on the visual art side of things, and that never really went away. I've still got it, and it, this is incredibly gratifying and really like next level artistic tools for those of us that want to perform in a more immersive, interactive environments. Um, so let me explain this a little bit. So I wanted to design a double dragon style stage. Um, so I actually built a dragon out of steel back in the late 90s and brought it out to Burning Man for nine different years. And so this is kind of like the Dragon 2.0 <laughs> concept. And um, it's been really, really fun to make. It's taken a couple of months to be able to get to this point. And also have to thank some of my friends because um, I'm still learning to make designs like this. So a few of these pieces are actually remixed. And that's a great thing about this program tilt brush uh, you can actually import 3d 3d models um, from other from google poly and so that has been a real amazing way to um mix and match and and help with my own design ideas is bouncing others and i have been really fortunate to come across a community of artists online and in wave XR that are also um, 3D, 3D modeler like wizards and so we have been kind of remixing each other's work so in essence it's almost like a, a song gets remixed like some of this art is getting remixed so um, yeah so this design is uh, imagine you're like an avatar and walking around and you can come in through either entrance, the back, or um, the front. Let's see. I also like look at the speaker, <laughs> like tricked out. Um, and I was also toying around with the idea of what it might look like to do some fire uh, tastefully coming out of the dragon's mouth. So we can kind of check that together and see, whoops, that's on a straight edge. Mm. <laughs> so I want it a little bit more dramatic, I think. Anyway, my God, it's like so fun in here. I'm spending way too much time. It's like starting to become slightly unhealthy. Uh, but as you can see, why? <laughs> 
and also submissions for um, 3D art for a specific simulation of Burning Man are happening. If anyone is interested in submitting, um, definitely let me know and I can put you in touch with the people that are going to be organizing that. And I am also going to be taking part. I'm not sure on what level because it's all coming together pretty fast. But if anyone wants to, um, if anyone makes art in the computer, <laughs> you can submit it if it's the right file type and size and then we can see if we can get that in there for you sometimes lining this up is kind of tricky Definitely tricky to get the symmetry right in here. Anyway, it's starting to look like a little bit busy, but you can kind of see the concept in here. <laughs> anyway, kind of like the sky is the limit with some of these programs. Seriously, it's like insane. Eep. I was toying around with that idea too, uh, to bringing in some uh, beams here. Let's see what they look like. So also the concept is the DJ booth here and the dance floor right in this area. Uh, 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 uh. That could be a good dance floor right there. Oh yeah, like that. And ideally, I like to make that light up this. <laughs> but I'm still getting some of my chops together for some of these 3D model projects.
So if you're just coming in, um, I have been on a crash course during the quarantine to learn how to design um, performance, like interactive and immersive performance spaces uh, for virtual reality. And um, the program I'm using right now is Tilt Brush, uh, incredible, incredible program. I'm thoroughly addicted. And this concept is actually a stage for Burning Man. And I'm hoping um, I have like a deadline to <laughs> submit this. And so I am coming up with like some different ideas. Maybe I'll let me, let me show you some of the other ones that were. Go ahead and save that. Save. Okay. If you're with me, let me show you one of the other ideas. Here was one of the other concepts with more like pyramid, <laughs> like take us to Egypt kind of style. But I think the dome is probably the most successful from, this one's really cool, I'll show you. Just simple, fun, unique, and sparkly. Something that I love to do is also like uh, make the smoke. Uh, mm -mm. They make it just so, like, it just moves ever so gently. It's so cool. <laughs> People that are making this, I basically just want to, like, worship the ground they walk on right now because uh, it's just so genius. Super, super genius stuff. This is fun. So this is another um, scene. This actually is going to be a scene <clears throat> that I am programming in for a performance. Um, it's going to be one of my first performances. It's going to be my first performance in Wave XR on Thursday, July 23rd, and I'm going to take my guests on a journey through the cosmos. And so this was like a kind of like a multiverse concept. And, uh, another one I love is a meteorite field. So this is like another fun thing <laughs> that we'll be moving, traveling through together. So imagine you're on a spaceship for that one. Anyway, well, I don't want to drift off too much because it's starting to get late. But the task at hand was to kind of finish up this dome double dragon stage concept tonight and send it off to the submission for um, some of the art for this year's Burning Man. <laughs> and one thing, if you are listening, if you are interested in coming to this year's Burn, I've seen a lot of different um, takes on what 
the experience is going to look like this year and it's just going to really vary from group to group um there if anyone has any questions they can ask me to like feel free i'm i obviously have like a vr set strapped to my head so i can't see the computer screen right now but if you write down the question i will answer um and get back to you um but i can try to direct you to the right type of um, burn experience depending on like what kind of gear you have but i will say if you want to do it right if you want like the full blast like the most cutting edge technology and like some of the best artists that i've seen that are doing like designs like this i would say you would most likely need to have a very fast computer like a desktop with a video card and also the VR goggles. So I am using Oculus Rift S. Um, I've also heard the HTC Vive is great. Um, I haven't had as good of luck with the Oculus Quest, unfortunately, although I think there will be some applications you will be able to go into. I was not able to get into Wave, um, which is the um, the simulation for Black Rock City I'm the most excited about and that's what this um, model is for. The other one that you will only be able to go to on a PC but you can use in desktop mode is Alt Space and that's one word and they have a fantastic burn simulation there and also the Mayan Warrior art car and charlie the unicorn <laughs> they have a really like seriously you guys go even if you don't have a pc just go find somebody that does and sign up for alt space and go find the um, burning man simulation because it's so cool and if you have vr goggles you also have the option to fly around so that is also really freaking awesome um anyway well i it's kind of late, so I'm going to go to sleep, but I'm just excited to share this vision and this art with you. Um, it's just such a gift. It just feels like such a gift to be able to create like this. Um, I really hope this art inspires people. Like That's always been my goal. Like, to bring beauty into the world and stuff that people can enjoy and like this is again like a festival stage concept so the idea is like all my friends can <laughs> be here on this dance floor and like listening to awesome music and I would love to offer the stage to any DJs that also might want to perform here like I'm hoping to perform here I think I'm gonna like figure out a way to get a DJ booth in here and yeah so anyway well that's what's going on tonight and thanks for listening if you are out there just really happy to be with you tonight and